welcome. We're gonna be playing some Night in the Woods today. Um, which is exciting. Because it's one of my favorite games. Hell yeah. Anywho. Anywho. Hi. I don't have a whole lot to say today. We're back. We're trying to get back into the swing of things now that I'm not traveling back and forth all the fucking time. I'm pretty good. Kinda tired, but good. Cause we're coming up on the last week of season. Soon. And now we're coming up on when we do like five days in a row. And it's exciting. Not. Well, not. It's not not exciting. It is a lot. Hi, Poe. You wanna come over? Get over here. <sighs> anyway. We're gonna play Night in the Woods. Can you hear me patting my cat? Is he like a drum? <laughs> oh, I really need you to lay down, though. Okay? I really need you to lay down. I really, I really need that of you. Can you do that for me? Al, you're so sharp. You're so sharp. Why are you so sharp? Stop being sharp. It's like you're a cat or something. Al, so sharp. We're going for it. Last time we left off, we had just left the party in the woods with B, and B was mega mean to us, and now we are May with a baseball bat. And we gotta go do something with this baseball bat. Ooh. I like the colors, good colors. I did my makeup earlier and then I decided to do some cooking in my crock pot and I, uh... Oh, that's the button. Okay, that's the swing button. And I cut onions and that made my eyes water and now my eyes are sad. And I hope the game volume is good, not too loud or quiet or whatever. I turned it up a little bit from last stream because I thought it was a little quiet. So I hope I didn't like go the opposite direction and make it too loud. <laughs> you know? A little quiet. We'll go like a couple more up. We'll go there. We'll try that up. I don't want to go too loud. Girl? Meow meow. Um, oh, there's a new development that I've noticed recently, and that's, uh, apparently barking. Barking is a big thing now. Like, all the freaking teenage girls that come through the haunt now just bark at us. And it's, it's kind of annoying. But, like... Yeah, I I got barked at by so many teenage girls. Just I'm like So, I I figured out that my new uh, comeback is I prefer cats. And uh usually then they start meowing, which I much prefer. Hello. Did you get your cowboy boots yet? <laughs> We're making a mess out here. Ooh, nice. Well, I hope they fit. Nice. That's good. I got a new pair of boots a couple days ago. I got a pair of Doc Martens. And I still have to break them in, but 
They're pretty good. They kind of hurt my ankles, but it's whatever. Gotta suffer a little bit. Look at this guy. He's the founder. I think, I think we're gonna whack him. Whoa! Dangerous. Go for his weak point. Just shapes. Just shapes. He's just shapes. <laughs> Very cool. I'll have to look at it later. Wake up. Time to wake up. Well, that was a weird one. I feel awful. I probably look awful. Ugh. I'm gonna burn this room down. With me in it. Live out my remaining days as a shrieking ghost. Yep. Uh, let's see. Thought, become a fire ghost and yell at people. Thought, never drink again or go in public. Blah, blah, dumb shit. And everything feels bad. Yeah, that's about what a hangover's like. Alright. Uh, let's see what... Uh, Greg has to say, because I like Greg. Hey, dude. You okay? Last night was P and tens. B said you're okay. I'm at- I'm a stack falcon all day. Come by if you're not dead. Sincerely, Gregory. Yes, band jam later, OMG. The end. Or, hey, sorry about last night. Hope you're feeling okay. Um, yep. I'm at the pickaxe all day. You want to stop by? Wait, we got to poke our shark, actually. We forgot one very important thing that we should do. It's that. Okie dokie. Look at these little cuties. Look at the cuties. Anyway. May. Yeah? Come say hi. Okay. Hup. Hey, hon. You look like crap. Yep. Rough night. Is it that obvious? No, I was just saying you look like crap because I love you. Thanks. If you want to talk about it. Let's let's tell our mom about our night. Our mom's nice. We like our mom. Mom's nice. I saw Cole at a party in the woods. From senior year? Yeah, he was home from school for the weekend. Did you talk to him? Kind of, sort of, I don't know. Well, he's a jerk, hun. No, he's not, or he wasn't. I don't know. Anyway. Looks like most of the repair workers have cleared of town center. Finally! Yeah, they're all done with the Churchill steps. And the power lines. Great! Hon, I do not want you up on those things. Mom, I'm 20. 
Uh-huh, which means you go to jail for it. Shh, they never catch me. Your Aunt Molly catches you up there. There's no telling what she'll do. Did you tell... Did I tell you I saw her yesterday at front? Really? Yeah, she was being all weird and cryptic. I don't know, everything's fuzzy today. And anyway, it's dangerous. You remember Susie Kushner? Gee, Mom, I sure don't. I've definitely never heard this story a thousand times. Fried, honey. The paper used the word fried. Now she can't use adjectives. She lost an entire part of speech. Gee, Mom, that's terrible. See, that's the exact kind of sentence Susie can't formulate. <laughs> <laughs> no descriptive words for Susie. So what are you up to today? I don't know, gonna go see what Greg and B are up to. You all gonna do something together? I don't know, I don't think they hang out much. Past messing around with our old band equipment. Well, there are only so many hours and so many days in our lives. Is there some bug going around that makes people talk like fortune cookies? Friendships are like trees. Uh-huh. You have to water them so they grow. <laughs> and we each have only so much water. Look at it. It's a pizza plant. Have you ever watered a tree? No, God does that. Okay, I'm out. See you later, honey. Or sweetie, rather. What do we got? F the cops! We're gonna F the cops and walk all over the power lines. Don't like it too bad. Here we go. Look at me go. I'm an acrobat. Mr. Chazikov is on his roof. Hey, May. Hey, Selmers. Did I see you with a journal the other day? Oh, yeah, doctor's orders. Yeah, Dr. Hank has me doing one, too. Oh, okay, did you have anger problems, too? I was stealing painkillers from the Ham Panther Pharmacy. Oh, jeez. So Dr. Hank sees journals as a general cure-all? Is it working for you? Nope, rehab and the program do, though. And I've been... I've become a very good poet. Wanna hear one? Yeah. My heart is a dankness, but when I see you, I feel a thankness. Wow, that's really nice. When I feel a blueness, all I need is a you-ness. That's very romantic. It's about my horse. Oh, we're just friends. Ta-da, it's Selmers, a poet. Wow. Here we go. And leap of faith. Woo. We're like Spider-Man or Batman or some kind of man that jumps roofs. You decide. There's so many men that jump roofs. You could be any of those men. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. May Borowski, you could have knocked on the door down there. Impolite to be on other people's roofs. Radioactive man. Next time I'm gonna call the cops. Whatever. <laughs> At any rate, I am glad that you have accepted my invitation. 
What are you doing anyway? Hunting dusk stars. Dusk stars is the name of my shoegaze band. Really? No. It is music of looking at shoes? With a lot of reverb. Why are we talking about shoes? I forget. Want to have a look? Yes. Yes, I do. Excellent. Holy crap, my eyes! Oh, you want to put the filter on like so. Jeez! The sun is bright. Make you blind. You didn't think to mention this? I just did. So we're looking for dusk stars. Usually I just do the perimeter first. Okay. Now we're going to explore the middle. It's going to be this one, isn't it? Yep. Found one, I think. Let me have a look. Ah, yes. Casties. Totally, it is. You know this one already? Nope. This star tells the story of a woman who built a tower to heaven. These little mini games are really fun. They're op they're completely optional, but they are fun. And for this, the god sunk her deep into the sea. Wow, that screwed up. But even in the depths, she refused to die. Damn straight. Oh, will you never die as well? Never! <laughs> Defy Casties gods also, will you? The gods in these stories are only stand-ins for things we cannot control. You might say floods, or the cancer, or such. No, to all of them. This is fair. Okay, we found one. We gotta find another one now. Here we go. Looking, searching, searching. Searching. Wow, this one's hard to find. I thought there was two. There we go. It's this one. Right there. Alright. Found one! Let me have a look. Ooh, look at this guy. Ah, yes. Dor, the murderer. Okay, I'm interested. Of course you are, May. Dor passed Baron the King's procession on the street. Dor was quiet and said nothing, and the king took offense to this. Why? Royalty is strange. So what happened? Baron insulted Dor, Dor's family, Dor's village, and so on. By the way, Andy, I just noticed, thank you for the host, like, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Hi. Uh, until he was down to insulting... Doors chickens. Damn. Dor first murdered Baron's chickens, then his ancestral village, then his family. Holy crap. And when he came to Baron, the king was silent. 
I'm going to get a tattoo of this guy. Is Dora a hero? Totally. Like, if you've been told you're nothing before, a story like this sounds pretty okay. Well, it is a true story, and real people died. And you should feel terrible. Seriously? <laughs> I believe we have seen both stars visible today. Oh, oh, really? They come and go so fast. That was pretty great. We can look again in two days' time. Will you be back? Yeah, if I remember. Oh, you will be. No one can resist the stars forever. That's spooky, Mr. Chazkov. <laughs> Alright, so... Now, we gotta go to town center. And see who we can find there. And also, we have some new paths open to us, which is exciting. So now we can go up to here, which is new. And up here is a church. So let's go in the church. There's the main, like, area of the church. And then there's our mom! Hi, mom. Hi, hon. Hey, mom. Wow, it's been a while since I was in here. I know, sweetie. Nice to see you in the building, at least. Did you meet the new pastor? Nope. Oh, well, she's around here somewhere. Might be outside. She likes to go on walks. Cool, cool. I might bump into her. I don't really know what the point of this hallway was. <laughs> Thank you. I think I just really like this game. It's... It's pretty chill. At least the start of it. It does get a little more amped up as time goes on, but it starts pretty... pretty chill. Ooh! That was a nice drawing. What a great artist rendition. Alright, let's see what we can see out this way. You warm enough at night? Yeah, you know, I get by. Well, I'm working on something to help you out. Aw, oh, don't go to any trouble. I'm alright. That's good. Gonna get cold soon. I can get you some blankets for now. For some reason, we have a lot of blankets. That'd be a blessing. Well, we bless best with what we already have too much of anyway. <laughs> and we got blankets. <laughs> Let's get in this conversation. Hey. Hey. You're Candy Borowski's daughter, right? Yep, who are you? I'm Kate, but you can call me Pastor K. That's like... Way more syllables. You're new here, right? 16 months, something like that. Oh, new to me at least. This over here is Bruce. Hey. Hey. Bruce is new to our community. You live in the woods? Yup. But not for long. We're working on fixing that before winter gets here. Gonna take some doing, but God's a doer. And they're big. They're bigger than city council. Still thinks it's a lot of trouble to go to. Listen, nobody said loving your neighbor would be easy. And you are our actual neighbor. I appreciate it. We all need a little help sometimes, Bruce. No shame in hard times. Well, it's nice meeting you both. Come up and see me at church sometime. I will. I'll be up to visit my mom anyway. See you later, Bruce. Okay, nice to meet you, Mary. May. May Borowski. Bruce. Just Bruce. Pastor. Pastor Kate. Alright. Y'all weird. We got Pastor K now. 
Oh, we also got these constellations. We got Dor and Castes. And Bruce! A weird old bear of a man. That is one of the fun things about actually, like, going out of your way in this game and not just doing, like, the main path. Like, you get to fill up your journal and see all the nice little drawings. I always think that's fun. So if you just follow main path, you don't get nearly as much in there. Okay, we're gonna go up east. Can I go up here? Yes. I think these are supposed to be weather stations. Pioneer Scouts made them when they weren't playing football. We're learning about manhood. These are the manliest of miniature windmills for sure. Now we can see Lori. Lori's one of my favorite characters. She's really sweet. Hey. Hey, it's you. It's me. I'm gonna sit. Legs are killing me. Yeah, it's a hike to get up here, right? I'm just getting old. 20 years. You're like all the way old now. How old are you? 15 in February. I used to hang out here after school. Really? Most kids don't come all the way up here. Haha, <laughs> that's why it's so nice. Better than being at home. Where do you live? Chestnut Street. Oh, okay, out by the tracks? Yeah, I guess I'm not really town. I'm like... tracks. I live down on Maple. Oh, the rich neighborhood? What? Um, no. Oh, sorry. I just meant it's nice. <laughs> Never mind, it's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay, calm down. I'm sorry, we... I get all weird sometimes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll forgive you if you stop apologizing. <laughs> okay. The tracks are cool. Haven't been out there in a while. The train shakes my room at night. Yeah, in the winter I can hear it. One of my favorite noises. Well, you don't have to wake up with... It's a ceiling on you. Good point. Alright. I'm out. It was nice chatting. I'm here most days. Cool. See you later. See ya, killer. Ugh. Um, where do I want to go from here? Hmm. Probably this way. Oh, shut it. Oh, shut. You don't know me. You don't know me. Oh, I see. You could technically get over to that roof by jumping from where Lori is to this little stack to over there. But we're not going there. We're gonna go in here. <laughs> Mrs. Pancakes. Where are we? Hmm. Wow, so this is where this stuff ended up. You don't know me. <laughs> I remember the spring parade. It was so much fun. Until that the year that Mallard P. Blooming Grow snapped his tether and ran over Chris Evans. Then they canceled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. And neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. I wonder what happened to both of them. It's locked. What the hell? That is a fire hazard. 
Oh my god! Mallard! What have they done to you? Mallard, you're pregnant. It's one of those god things. Like when you have a baby because god? Holy crap, are you the cutest vermin? Who's the best vermin? You are. You look so hungry. Is that why you're, um, not doing anything? I'll come back with food. Don't die. Poke. You can poke the rats. It's almost as good as if you can pet the dog in the game. We gotta get our pet rats some, uh, food now, I guess. I know just the place. I know just the place. Here we go. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Okay, 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 May. You're only gonna get one shot at this. Just gotta freeze when he looks over. Even if you're holding a pretzel, no movement. It's simple psychology. You've done this before. You've still got it. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, go. I'm waiting for the timing. This is a stealth mission, and we're so good at it. Gotta put it in my butt pocket. I am the bandit queen. Hell yeah. Let's go feed some baby rats. Uh, I guess I would prefer mustard. But generally, I don't dip my pretzels in anything. Maybe ranch. Because I'm... A true blue Wisconsinite. But... I don't like nacho cheese, because it kind of just reminds me of liquid plastic. So, I'm adverse to that. Every once in a while, I'll try it again, and I'll be like, no. Alright, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. Wow, you're hungry. Very hungry. I guess I'm your mom now. I don't know if I'm ready to be a mom. Hey, what's this? The door here. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna go to the snack falcon. Ooh, who are you? You look different. Hey. Well, hey. 
Yeah, like, the same shirt. But, like, opposites. Oh, wow, what do you know? What's your shirt from? From? Yeah, is it, like, a band or something? Nah, I made it in home ec back in high school. I just like the symbol. It's a null symbol, right? I don't know. What's your shirt mean? Secret symbol of God's wrestling league? Whoa, what's that? Backyard wrestling. Whoa, where does it happen? All over the place. Backyards, you know? How did I not know about this? It's a secret because illegal, I think. And people go to the hospital and stuff. I like this guy's, like, really bad mustache. And goatee. 10 out of 10. That is awesome. This is awesome. It's awesome. Holy crap, I am gonna look this up. See you there sometime. What the? What? No! No, 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 no! Possibilities is gone? No more pizza delivery? No more Big Sal? No more special birthdays? This is the worst thing that's happened to this town since the flood that took out... The petting zoo! Thank goodness all the animals swam to safety on the roof of the tire place. Who knew goats were such good swimmers? I'm so freaking depressed now. Hey, it's you. Hey, Jeremy? Jeremy Wharton. No one calls me that. Germ, right? Germ warfare. Oh, that's stuck, huh? Yep. That's an okay name. Your name is May. Yep. That's an okay name. Okay. You were like a year behind me, right? Two years. So you're fresh out, huh? I hang out with Greg sometimes. We ride bikes. I'm pretty good at it. Okay. What? I saw a rabid possum the other day. Really? Where? It was crawling across the road. Had it been hit by a car? Nah, just rabid. What happened to it? I didn't think possums got rabid. I didn't think possums could get rabies. I thought that was a thing. They couldn't get rabies. I'm gonna find out right now. Uh, rabies is extremely rare in possums. So they can get it, but it's rare. Now I know. But I thought they couldn't get it. Probably because it is so rare. Apparently it's because they have a lower body temperature. Like a resting body temperature than most animals that can get rabies. So it can't incubate the same. Uh huh. Possums are cute. Got hit by a car. Wow. It was like... A poem. Okay. Well, um... Bye. We'll talk later. Hi. Well, look who it is. Yep, alive for another day. How are you feeling? Was feeling pretty bad, but I've been across town. And I don't know, that helped. Fresh air, or as fresh as it gets around here. Delicious. So what's up? Um. Band practice? Let's just go to band practice. Oh, Germ's here. Hi. Practice. Yes. I crashed my bike once, and a broken spoke went through my leg. Jeez. That's kind of cool. But yeah, I can see that. He's so weird, but he's good. Good bird. Good bird. Alright, kids. I gotta head out soon. Where are you going? Family stuff. Oh, okay. Just for a night. Okay, we doing this? Yeah, let's do this. Ready to suck at it. 
Wait, I don't know the song, like, at all. And I barely remember how to play bass. You'll be fine. I completely will not be fine. To your self-confidence, huh? No, I just don't know the song! You stupid jerks. Alright, be prepared for this to go really bad. That's the hardest part. Uh. <laughs> I keep hitting, um... X instead of Y. me that was a uh, pretty bad is what it was I literally do not know this song inexcusable well that was pretty loud is that good loud's fine I do not want to hang out with B. Um, I promise he'll be an improved man last night. What were you thinking of doing? Uh, hmm. Want to go to the mall? Mall? Yeah, Fort Lucene. Like when we did when we were kids. When's the last time you were at the Fort Lucene Mall? I don't know, five years ago? Yeah, uh, what? You know what? Yeah, let's go. Great. Great. Promise it'll be great. Okay. You sure we're doing this? Let me check with Greg real quick. Okie dokie. I want to hang out with Greg. Hey, hey, Duder. Angus leaving for the night? Yeah, gonna be bored. Or rather, I would be if I didn't have plans. Plans? Crimes. Oh, crimes. You up for some crimes? Hmm. Definitely. Crime time. Oh, uh, woo! Oh, uh, woo! We're gonna do crimes with Greg. And they found him out in the back of the junkyard. That's upsetting. He been there for a while. This is depressing. Really? I just thought it was like super raw. No, I mean the abandoned food donkey. Yeah, I know, right? It was a shock. I think in second grade we colored pictures for Thanksgiving. And they were like food donkey themed. And they put them up on these windows. I remember that. It was a donkey dressed up as a turkey. Yeah, horrifying. The big eyes. Horrifying. Really, really horrible. What do they do with all the food? Donkey turkeys got them. 
Dog Turks. Dern keys. So what are we doing here? Crimes. Okay, I'm like double in now. I've been living too clean, May. Damn right. We run this town. Why don't we go in? Hey! What the hell are you doing? I think I... Yeah, cool. I got his attention. What? Aw, oh, yeah. Here he comes. Who? You don't know him, I don't think. Try me. Oh, God. What is that smell? Blue. Oh, no. Is that... Sup, ladies. Ugh. F and Steve Scriggins. <sighs> Did you just actually make a fart noise? <laughs> you ladies lost or something? Deal's a deal, Steve. I ain't forgot. Where is it then? In the back. I remember you, you know. I bet everyone remembers you. That teacher sue yet? Or at least beat you up in a parking lot? Which teacher? The one you locked in the closet during longest night break? Shh, that guy can't even go in small rooms now. He was always a wuss, just needs someone to bring it out. Okay, well. Can we... Get on with this. Stupid Steve Scriggins. Oh, hot dog? Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog? Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog? Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Okay. So this still works sometimes? Hey. <laughs> you know Beth Holstead? Yeah. She was in here like six months ago and she swears it talked. Whoa. Didn't even have to push the button. Hot dog? But I don't know how much I'd stake him. Uh, steak I'd put in it. You know, Beth. Kinda. There's a lot of glue in here. I guess. Rain? 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 God damn it. What? Someone locked the effing door. God damn it, I bet it was Beth. Or Levi. Or the train trash. So. Ah! Better not have stolen anything. From the abandoned grocery store? With the unlocked doors? What's behind this door anyway? Could probably bust it open. Or I could go get my lockpick stuff. Bet there's like a key or something. Whatever. Hey, have fun kicking that. It's up there. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Trying to find something to help bust down the door. Well, I'm gonna... I'm looking for a key because I'm smarter. Uh-huh, but I get to hit things. Crap. Gotta get a little more lift. There it is. No wonder this place went under. People leaving keys all over the place? Don't mind if I do. I am the key master. I will unlock your ass. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ass keys. I'm here to unlock your butt. 
Bring your butt over here, Steve. Y'all dumb. Yo, idiot, stop kicking before you break your femurs or something. I'm not an idiot. Yeah, sorry. Hey, idiot and Greg, stop kicking. I got keys. Where'd you get them? Office up there. No wonder this place went under. Even keys all over the place. That was exactly what I thought. I'm upset that we thought, like, the exact same words. I thought it better. F and Steve. Why are we doing crimes with this guy? Uh, why did it have to be Steve? He had an inn. What inn? I broke the front door. Oh god, these guys? I was both terrified and super into these things. When they put them up out front, they moved. They look so tiny when they're in pieces. We're smaller in pieces too. Too real. I hope you get chopped up by a chopper. I hope you get chopped up by a blunt chopper. You two are weird. Okay, we're stealing one of these. Is it even stealing? It's better if we think of it as stealing. Cool. Ugh! 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 Dude, what? Ah! Dude, what? I can't pick. They all look great. You get one. That's the deal. Hurry up. Ooh, let me pick. Let me pick. Sure. I'm personally partial to the rabbit, but frog is also pretty good. I could care less about pig. Pig could stay. So, I don't know. Frog. Rabbit. Frog. Rabbit. Frog. I'm thinking frog. I like its shape. I'm gonna go with frog. Unless someone says otherwise. In... Three... Two... One. Frog. All greeny here. Wait, what? I used to have dreams about this thing. Sex dreams. Probably. Ugh, best you could get. Probably. Do frogs even have sex? Nah, they got like eggs or something. You two are really, really dumb. So, not frog? Not frog? What about rabbit? What about this? Uh, which one? I'm bad at decisions that actually mean something. You picked out the tuxes we wore to junior prom. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty good at it. Remember how Tim... Whitely rode that giant tractor into homecoming? Totally. So, did you pick? Alright. I... I'm gonna do it. I totally did. Oh, cool. Okay, kids, we're gonna go with... Froghead. Froghead. Uh, yeah, froggy robot. Finally, goddamn. Oh, shut up, Steve. You know what? I ain't carrying nothing. See ya, ladies. Steve! Get found dead, punks. <laughs> 
says punks like it's a bad thing. I don't care. He's scum and a criminal, and anyway, I think he's been bad news from the start. Hmm, yes. What deal did you make with him? He's allowed to shoplift whatever he wants from Snack Falcon while I'm working. See, criminal all the way. Some people. So, should we, like, smash a window to get this out of here? Look at his little frog head peering out of the box. Oh god, I still smell the glue. My neighbors are gonna think I'm on drugs. Or just, like, gluing the hell out of some shit. Okay, so... We're really carrying this up- this thing up the stairs. This is gonna be great. You are so gonna die. Haha. <laughs> You're gonna get squashed like a pancake. Ha ha ha! But seriously, don't kill me. Watch me, and I'll give you the signals. Roger, roger. We're doing it. We're getting up the stairs. Oh no, I murdered Greg! Let's try it again. Sorry about that. Haha, <laughs> that was kind of awesome. Well, I'm glad you didn't get killed. I would totally haunt this entire stairwell. Ready to go? Yep. We did it, and we only killed Greg one time. Ha ha ha, I'm so tired. You know, I know, right? Remember, like, I worked a whole day before doing this? You sit on your ass all day, I bet. Only part of it, I stand a lot. My arms are dead, dude. My entire body is dead, dude. Uh, Let's get this over with. No. I'm gonna kill Greg. Do I get three strikes? Rah! Arg, let's go. I've never done so bad at this. Yeah, I'm gonna kill Greg. Oh, frick. No! I want to die. I'm not sure we didn't die. This is hell. This is literally hell. We are the damned. Okay, we doing this? Yeah, let's do it. Did it. I'm going to have to look up how to fix this. Angus isn't back till tomorrow night. I'll think about it later. Want to go get some food? Hells yes. Too bad you didn't snap your spine. Too bad your arms didn't get ripped off. Too bad you weren't horribly disfigured. Too bad you didn't fall and break your teeth on a stair. Too bad you didn't get trapped under the box. Too... Not finished. And then burned alive in a building fire. Too bad you didn't crawl into a vent to escape the fire and get cooked. Ah, good times. I still smell glue. Think about something else. I can't. I think I'm high from all the glue. Think about pierogies. They had pierogies when you were at school. This one church in town would sell them during whatever holiday. Feast of the Perpetual Pierogi? Yo, dude. What? Open your mouth. Why? Trust me. True friendship is this. True friendship is when you can tell your friend to open their mouth and they just do it. Alright, stay just like that. Okay. Right there. Gotty. Nom 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 nom. 
I love onion. And go. Ah, my face. Nom, 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 nom. This one. And go. Nom, 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 nom. Let's do it again. And go. Nothing but net. How many of these am I doing? This is a lot. Nom 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 nom. I love onion. Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep giving you onion ones then. Ah, my face! Eat the onion. Eat him. Out of pierogies. Dang. Majority of those made it into my mouth, so I'm happy. All right. I think I might be sick. True friendship. Letting your friend make you sick. True bros. True bros. I feel like this is the first time we've just gotten to hang out. How's it feel? I mean, I'm very sore and I smell like glue. It was real good. Same, dude. So how have things been? Uh, good. Weird seeing you with, like, a regular job that you like. Go to. Yeah, working on the plan. The plan? Bright Harbor. Bright Harbor? Yeah, we're gonna move to Bright Harbor. When? I think in the spring. That's like a few months away. Yeah. Oh. You should come visit when we get settled in. Why Bright Harbor? Oh, May, it's so cool. We visited in the summer. There's like record stores and weird bars and everyone's cool and like free. Oh. That's where I got my tattoo. What? Yeah. Is that a sheep? Why a sheep? The tattoo guy was like all the way hot and it didn't even hurt. You have a tattoo. You're moving to Bright Harbor. Yeah. Oh. What's wrong? Nothing. How long did you think you're how long do you think you're staying in town? I don't know. I'll help you pick somewhere out. Yeah. It was really great hanging with you tonight. I've been really boring lately. Haven't done a crime in a long time. Why? Angus, the plan. Can't go to Bright Harbor if I get caught or fired. You're you're all adult now. I'm bona fide. I'm gonna go, I think. Good call. We need to de-glue. I think we stunk up the diner. It wouldn't be the first time. I missed you. You too, bro. We're gonna talk to Dad. Sup, Dad? Heard you had a wild time last night. I didn't drink. It works better if you let me accuse you first. Right. Here's my hangover here. Not drinking the night before. Wow, hold on. Let me write that down. It's complicated, I know. What did you do tonight? Um, help Greg move some stuff. Look at what a good friend you are. Helping someone move is quite a gesture. Well, we've been best friends since, like, forever. So I feel like we're well past that point. I am really, really sore, though. Sometimes you gotta get sore for friends. Hey, Dad, would you mind moving the boxes in the crawl space? Well, what have you done for me lately? 
been an excellent daughter. That doesn't count. Well, would you watch some TV with me? Yeah, for a little bit. Hop up, I'm watching Garbo and Malloy. Nice. We're gonna kind of skip through this. It's your basic Tonight Show kind of thing. <laughs> All right. Good night, Dad. Move the boxes, please. Check our emails. Our messages. Hey, what did you end up doing tonight? Watch a third of a season of Bleak Dominion. Oh, wow, I like that show. I'm watching it for the first time. Nice, I've seen, like, all of it? Well, don't spoil it. What episode are you on? Season 1, episode 4? Oh, crap. Okay. We'll talk about it later. Sounds good. Gonna get back to watching it now. Enjoy. Good night. Hey, dude, my entire muscles are going to hate you forever. Five, six ever, even. Dude, my muscles hate me enough for both of us. I'm so angry at gravity right now. Let's kill gravity. What's gravity done for me lately? Hurt all of our muscles. Okay, I'm gonna go lay on my bed and die, probably. I'm already dead. This is the robot head speaking. OMG. I know where you live and what you said. OMG, too scared. Okay, good night. I'm gonna send May to bed, and I'm gonna do a very brief BRB. So, BRB. We're back. And we're dreaming. Here we go. Ooh. Who are you? There's a weird shadow demon. Ooh, look, we found someone. Wow. Look at the moon! If you can call it a moon. So there's a nice little hint they give you on where to go next. If you look in like the top corner of my screen, there's like an orange glow. So that's like your hint to go that way. Look, Casties. The color palette's really nice. Birds. And door. And if I drop right down, there he is. Now we go this way. The dream sequences are so cool. A bear. Is it a bear? Could be like a weird wolf, I guess.
Let's look at our messages. Hey. I'm working today if you want to say hello. Yep, that's my life right there. Morning. I am somehow even more sore. This is bullshit. I'm working today. Angus is out of town, and I'm lonely. Okay, bye. Sincerely, Gregory. Downstairs we go. Let's go say hi to mom. Good morning. Did you feel it last night? What? There was a big sinkhole two streets over. Oh, are we still getting those? I don't think those ever really go away. Swampy ground and so forth, and on a floodplain. Oh, weird. I don't want you over there nosing around it. I guarantee you I won't. I I have seen sinkholes. No interest at all? Mom, they're just holes in the ground. Get back to me when one, like, swallows a house or something. We'll go see together if that happens. Deal. So what did you do last night? Hung out with Greg. What did you do? Uh, we went to the grocery store? That sounds exciting. Get anything special? Ooh boy, sure did. Well, stop by the church if you're in the area. Will do, Mom. See ya. Mm-hmm, bye, sweetie. Gotta go say hey, hey to Mom. Mom's so good. Good Mom. 10-10. Ooh, it's rainy! It's all nice and gray and rainy and the leaves are colors. We love that. Mr. Chazikoff is not on his roof, so we're just gonna go down here. Mayborowski. Selmers. Now we all know how important it is to look our best. What? Our appearance is first and sometimes last impression we make. Selmers, did you join a cult? Lucky for you, I happen to be a licensed dealer. Okay. Of the Sylvan family of products. Selmers, I don't have any money. Oh, okay. Are you giving that pitch to everyone? Have you sold anything yet? Sold some to my mom. And to Abby Krangler. Miss Krangler's daughter? Granddaughter. Run into her at the laundromat over by the school. One time Greg got locked inside of one of the tumble dryers. Did he die? He wanted me to start it, but I chickened out. Definitely would have died. Tell him that. He's still mad. Want to hear a poem? Yes. Yes, I do. Sometimes, I think, and start, to sink. Oh no. There's more. Sorry. Then I remember. It's October. October. Combine my two favorite months. Fall is really nice. It's the best. It's fall. There's pumpkins and pumpkins. So many pumpkins. Jump on this person's car. Oh, okay. So you're more of a drifter. Yeah, but it's temporary. Of course, well, we just wanted to see if you're okay up here. Yeah, Pastor K has been very kind. Mind if we see your setup here? What do you think, Molly? Uh... Uh... It's fine? Ha, <laughs> alright. Bruce? Yeah. How are you finding Possum Springs? Nice place, nice people. How long have you been in town, Bruce? I've been here for a while now. I was here before, back in the 70s. They were looking for miners, at least, for a while. Got a whole thing going here, Bruce. Yep. 
Pretty impressive. Uh, thanks. These guys here are like a bunch of Karens. They're judging the shit out of him right now. Except Bruce don't care because Bruce is Bruce. Thanks, Bruce. No trouble. So what's your story? Uh, got no story. Like, where are you from? North of here, northeast. Worked on the railroads, worked some mines, worked some construction. How'd you end up here? String of bad luck. I have to talk about it. Never turned down that offer. Way to be, Bruce. Way to be. They're like, we can't leave them outside. It doesn't look right, but... Does it serve us to make a shelter? Hi, Mom. Hey, sweetie. I completely forgot where the sanctuary is. Um, you passed the door on your way here. Oh, I thought those were locked. They're locked sometimes. All doors are locked sometimes. Not like saloon doors. Cowboys just walking in and out. That's very rude. Gold West was a very, very rude time. Howdy, partner. I say, I say, this is powerful rude. That's like a southern gentleman. He's classing up the place. Gosh, she's such a good character. Oh, I accidentally left. I don't really want to talk to Pastor Kate anyway, so it's fine. I got so many other things to do. I don't want to waste my time with Pastor Kate. We gotta climb buildings. Check on our rats. Okay. And talk with Lori. How are our rats? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, there's more. Okay, we gotta get our rats some food, I guess. Here's what we'll do. We'll go down, get rat food. And then... We'll, um... Go see Lori at the top. All right, here we go. Did it. We're so good at thieving now. We're so good at it. Ah, get bent, pretzel man. Oh. I didn't mean to go that way. Prime time.
Go see Lori. Oh, miss our jump. Try again. We're gonna do it. Got her. Hey. Hey. Gonna sit if that's cool. It's cool. What you doing? Drawing. Okay, what you drawing? You know how in a movie, like, a knife will go through someone's eye? Well, boy, do I ever. I'm, like, designing an effect to make up for that. I'm working on a horror movie. That's so rad. Okay, maybe I'm not making it yet, but... I mean, someday I could, like... Direct it, and write it, and do the makeup. I have a really good screen, too. Really? Ah! I wanna, like... Go to a horror movie school. I think they have those. Oh yeah, they're really cool. I already know how to make fake blood and body parts. Sorry, it's probably boring. How in the world could that possibly be boring? I know, like, all of them. Body parts? Horror movies. Everyone? A lot of them. Cool, cool. Alright, I gotta go. See ya. Later. Now time to feed our babies. All right, my little miracle rats, time to eat. Oh, there's more of you today. You need more food, yes you do. That's what happens when you feed the rats. You get more rats. Weirdly enough. Weirdly enough. I think I'm gonna go out this way. When you feed rats, you get more rats. It's true. So I think, um, germ hangs out this way, if I remember right. Yep, here he is. Hey, germ. What you doing? Nothing. Was hanging with a couple crusties before? What? Press punks, traveler kids. Oh, okay, like from off the trains? They know we don't got much cops. I miss all the cool stuff. One of them had a dog. They mostly have dogs sometimes. One time I seen a crusty missing foot. What happened? Trains jumping on and off and falling between cars and stuff. That's intense. Hands, knees, legs, feet, whole arms. We saw an arm the other day. You think it was from a crusty? Nah. I mean, I don't know. Huh. So, I'm here a lot of days. Okay, I was gonna say. I have to go now. Bye. Okay. Bye, germ. You look different. Who are you? Excuse me. Yeah? I'm looking for the park store. You just missed it. 
What? You got an accent. Where are you from? Russia. How do you end up all the way out here? I'm hiking the Great Eastern Deciduous Trail. Oh wow, how is that? It is hard, but beautiful. It goes through like six states, right? I lost count. I can't imagine walking that far. My guide said there was a park store here. It's gone. Used to be right here. Now there's a snack falcon. Do you know where I can get supplies? I mean, snack falcon, dude. I guess I can find something in there. Yeah, man, they got all kinds of cool stuff. Probably all perishable, though. Hmm. Isn't everything perishable? We're all going to perish. Everything is going to perish. Oh, yeah, they've got granola bars, I think. Spasibo. What's spasibo? Thanks. Oh, Russian. Okay, bye. Who this? Hey, hey, May May. Totally, what's up, dude? Let's think about going to jail. Like you're planning on going? I think I could break out. Maybe I should like test my skills of escape. I feel like the risk is bigger than any possible reward. Yeah. What brought this up? I had a nightmare about going to jail. My cousin went to jail. My other cousin Jen said it was inevitable. Aw oh man, you're not inevitable. I mean, it's not. It's not inevitable. No, go back. I am definitely inevitable. The inevitable Greg. Is Angus around today? Nah, he's out doing some stuff. What stuff? Eh, family stuff. They're not worth talking about. Yeesh. Wanna hang out? Let's roll. Damn straight. Greg's usually my choice for hangs. Okay. The bullet went clean through. You can still see the bullet hole in it. How did that not kill him? It must have missed all the important parts of the brain. Wow. Yeah, great great granddad was pretty tough. But isn't that helmet the f isn't that the helmet the fascists were wearing? Uh no, wrong war. And wrong country. These weren't the bad guys. Read some history. Geez, okay. When did you learn all this stuff? But people kept saying it was a fascist hat. So what are we doing? Continuing our crime spree. Oh yeah. Follow me. Yes, dear leader. I'm both a leader and a deer. Ranger cleared up. Weather moves for us. So what do I need the bat for? Ta-da! Ooh la la. F that car up, Private Borowski. So... Brought me out here to watch me beat up a car? Is this like that thing where people are all hot for car crashes? No, and I don't know that movie. Look it up. Eh. So we need the battery out of this car. What for? That's privileged info, Private. Stop calling me Private. I'm a general, at least. No, I'm the general. I got a hat. War is stupid. Watch it. War got me this hat. Okay, but what if someone needs this car? I think it's safe to say no one's gonna miss it. Yeah, I guess it's got a tree growing through it. So, we're just beating it up until the hood pops open? Yeah, just smash it up. Smash it all up. Smash capitalism. Smash the government. Smash this car. Smash your pass. Yarg. <laughs> Yeah, destroy the car. Excellent work. Thank you, I agree. Wanna do the honors? 
Am I gonna get electrocuted? Should be fine. Car's got a tree growing through it. Probably not electric anymore. Wait, but... You wanna do it or not? I do. Okay, so just grab one of the wires and yank it off. Thanks, I think I can figure it out. Gotta get rid of these leaves first. Oh. <laughs> oh no, we got electrocuted! Ah! Yarg! Oh, whoa! Uh. <laughs> it's Sharkle! Hey, Sharkle. What are you doing here? We got electrocuted. You've always been a good friend, May. Every day you'd visit me. You'd remember to click me. Just to say hello. Yes, I'm an excellent friend. Sharkle, am I dead? No. Oh, that's good. I have things to do. You must go back. You are meant for great things. Really? No. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie here. I appreciate it. This is awkward. Don't feel bad, Sharkle. Uh -huh. What? Uh -huh. Dude. Uh -huh. It's just Greg. Just Greg laughing at him. Erg. Oh shit! You okay? I think I died. How long was I out? Like five seconds. Oh, weird. Time, like, stretches. It's a mysterious universe. You good to go with the battery? You know it. Let's get back to the apartment. I taste pennies. It's probably not a good sign. You probably shouldn't just be tasting pennies. Generally speaking, I don't think that's a good sign. And anyway, even if it was a fascist helmet, it's got an anarchy symbol on it now. Which makes it good. And there's a bullet hole in it. So whoever was wearing it is dead. And I'm like wearing the trophy. Do you admit that it's a fascist helmet? No. I don't. Okay, okay. So what are we doing? Okay, so... Oh wow, you moved that onto the couch yourself? Yep. After the stairs last night? I'm very impressive. Okay, 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 okay. What are, what do we do? We need to get this old battery into that old thing. Okay, well, this sounds straightforward enough. Kinda, it's full of garbage. Too bad you didn't cut yourself on it and get a disease. Too bad you didn't die on the way here. Too bad the robot wasn't filled with angry snakes and they killed you. Too bad the elevator didn't fall and squash you like a pancake. Oh, dude, no, that's a phobia. That's one that makes this makes sense at least what are we doing again time to assemble that robot oof this thing smells that's just how old machines smell no like i think something was living in here hey i've got an idea why don't you stop being so negative why don't you eat your own neck that's impossible be serious. This is serious business. Oh, well. Well, don't mind me. See, I've already died once tonight. No big deal or anything. What was it like? I can taste my tooth fillings. And it's like, they're ringing. Ringing. Like little bells. Inside my skull. Wow. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Clamp it. Wow. It's robot time. Jeez. That looks safe. Are you gonna be all boring now just because you died for like a whole five seconds? Dude, come on. 
Some people have been dead, like, forever. Do you see them whining? Um, right. They either shut up and deal, or they become ghosts. Are you saying I should become a ghost? Yeah, Carpe DM. Carpe DM. Oh, look who's all fancy in French now. Okay, fine, what are we doing? Now is the best part. We are gonna put this beast together. Do you know how it goes together? Gonna find out! Cool. May. Sorry? Cool! Oh, woo! Oh, woo! Here are all the parts. Wow, so many possible combinations. We can create our own unique metal offspring. Do we just clank these together? Yeah, slap them together, tighten some screws. What could go wrong? I mean, quite a lot. Lots of stuff goes wrong. Dude, you are no fun. I literally just died. All right, we gotta start. Let's see. Well, we're seasoned it all right. Um, can this go here? And then let's give him one like stubby arm. One long arm and one stubby arm. Got it. We're getting it. This is- this is some art going on here. He's really, like, looking good. I think we did it. I don't know what this is. I think it's just gonna go there. I think he's beautiful. I think our son is beautiful. It really is good. He's beautiful. He's perfect. Our beautiful boy. Our robot son. So like, this is pretty great and all, but remind me, why did we just put a bunch of garbage together in your living room and connect it to a stolen car battery that's already leaking acid on the carpet, I think? I don't know. Since you've been back in town, I think I missed Greg for, of a few years ago. Hmm. Like, these days, I mostly work all the time, but now that you're back in Possum Springs, I was like, hey, let's do some crimes again. Aw, dude. Yep. So I was thinking about how to use that for, like, good. So I thought I'd bring this here for Angus. That's beautiful, dude. I'm sure he'll love it. I hope so. Okay, so... Yeah, all we need to do now is turn it on. Oh, oh! I want to push the button. Let me push the button. Let me do it. Dude, it's the least I could do. For my best friend back from the dead. Pizza party next time I come back. I die and come back. Dude, that is such a deal. Sweet. Oh, God. 
This side smells even worse. Hope whatever was living in here. In this. Hole. Okay, I think I see it. Push it, push it, push it. Hey, I'm glad you and Angus have this whole, like, life together. Thanks, dude. We've worked hard. That's sweet. Push it, push it, push it. Okay, 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 okay. I'll, I'll get, get this shit out of here. Arg! Yep, we're just on the ground getting fried. And he doesn't even care! It lives! What the? I. Whoa! Hey, Angus. How's it going, May? Good, I didn't die this time. You? Good, good. I'm just gonna lay here for a while if that's okay. Okay. Wow. Miracle rats. Oh, we got germ in here. Nice. How's work? You know, better than the glass factory. Is it? I've mined, I've ran machines, but now I get to slice steaks and hawk salamis. I mean, it's easier on the back, that's for sure. But, like, do you like it? I like having a paycheck. There. Paychecks, the sweetest meats of all. Sweet meats. What'd you do tonight? Oh, you know, stuff. Tired. Feel like I just did a day's work. You know, there are places you get paid for work these days. Oh, really? Yeah, they call it working. Huh, you kids with your slang. Slang you could pick up at work. Oh, yes, point made. Um, what about those boxes I asked about in the crawl space? Hmm, I'm thinking about it. Watch some TV with me? Yeah. Perfect timing. Garbo and Malloy is starting. Aw, uh, yes. So we made a really cool robot today. We've done some crimes. We love it. And now we're gonna watch TV with Dad and then go to bed. Nice. Okay, good night, Dad. Say good night, Dad. Let's go upstairs. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Hey, May, are you awake? Sure am. What's up? Nothing watching TV. What are you watching? It's a true crime show. Is it any good? No, the reenactments are terrible. But if they were good, I'd like actually feel bad for them as it stands it's just like bad local commercial actors pretending to murder or be murdered i love those shows they're the best angus hey may are you all right i was afraid you were really hurt and you left so quickly i'm good big guy okay just want to make sure i appreciate it try not to almost die anymore tonight no promises hey punk are you still electric no, I think it's gone now. Hold on, let me touch something metal. Okay, I touched my futon frame and we're good. Good work, Dr. Science. Does Angus like the robot? I think so. He's just kind of looking at it. Hold on, I'll ask him. Okay, he says to say thank you. So I think that means he likes it. Alright, Duder, I'm turning in. Me too. See you later. Look. Yes, it's bedtime. Bedtime. All right, we get another dream sequence.
one. We want to go this way. Once I figured out that little orange glow thing in the corner, it made these a lot faster and a lot easier. Here I come. Gonna get it. Oh, there's another one right over here somewhere. I feel like I gotta go around for it. Yep. Easy peasy. Look at this water. Wow. I can walk on it. Am I the Jesus? No, I'm not. The answer is no. Nor do I ever want to be. Oh, we need to go more uppies. We're working our way up. We're working our way. We're making our way downtown, walking fast. And here we are, ready to get eated by some animal. It's a squirrel. It's sucking the life out of me. I don't need that. It's fine. I don't need it. No one needs it. Okay, what we got going on today? Let's take a look. Hey, I'm at work all day. Just saying, if you want to say hello, I'm here to be helloed at. Update, the robot smells a little weird. Not sure what we missed there. Anyway, hey, Boyo, I'm at work all day. Very bored. Work sucks. Crap falcon more like it. I think we'll play through this day up until near the end of it. And then, um, I'll probably maybe play something else for a while. Because I'm getting a little... Eh. Holly, what's up, Selmers? You know what's good? Off the top of my head. Uh, not falling in a trash can and puking on yourself. Um, I was gonna say those fruit snack thingies. You used to eat in grade school? Alright, yeah, those were really good. 
Did that other thing happen to you? Nope. Want to hear a new poem? Yes. Sometimes. I like fruit snacks. Out by. The train tracks. Decent. A juice box. And headphones. I enter. The juice zone. Jeez, those are like all I want now. You made them sound so real. I can taste the atomic dino snacks in the blue clear snazzer. What? I don't know what those. Thanks. Okay, we uh, heard a poem. Beautiful. Oh, Mr. Chazikoff's on his roof. We should probably go up. Um, I might just switch over to, like, Fall Guys or something for a little while. But our buddy Mr. Chazikoff's on his roof, so we gotta go look at Constellations. I don't want to get into anything that's, like, super long or, um, crazy for the rest of the day. Because I will not be going super duper late. Probably only got, like, a couple hours left today. Barf pumpkin! Hi, buddy. Mayboroski. Yep. Up here on my roof. Yep. Come to hunt some dusk stars. Yep. Come have a look. Whoa, my eyes. Filter. Ugh. Why doesn't he just have the filter in place? Right there. Found it. Found one, found one, found one. Let's have a look. Sterling the Seer. How come I've never heard of these guys? Eh? By the time they got to these rare stars... They... The well-known myths and legends were taken. Oh. That makes sense. This one, Sterling, is a tale of the world changing and leaving one behind. These are all gonna be bummers, huh? That's not for me to say. Is it a bad thing for the world to move on? Well, I mean, this guy probably doesn't think so. Either way, one day his king met a new sage, an astronomer, and she showed the king how the planets and stars orbit in regular patterns and why. And the king kicked Ster Sterling out of his quarters. For the seer had long told the king a different story about the stars. Did Sterling believe his own story? I believe he did. Well, that's how things go. Is there no responsibility to care for those whose labors, even one's universe, are suddenly replaced with a new one? Are they obsolete? No. What is to be done? I don't know. Uh, isn't there some other job the king could give him? Or some way where he doesn't have to be useful to the king in order to survive? It's one to ponder. But <laughs> the stars, they make one think. Alright. Right here. That one. Boom. Found one. Let's see. Ah, yes. Yeah, Simone the fighter. She got a gun. Simone lived in a good land. But under every good land are the roots of oppression. And in the land, those roots took hold. And choked out all else. That was poetic, Mr. Chazikov. Thanks. I was just reading the summary off my phone. Oh. 
We may not have signal, but we have Wi-Fi. Anyway, when the borders closed and the curfew began, Simone and her comrades began to plot. They infiltrated, they sabotaged, they freed prisoners. Very nice. Very nice. Simone was one of the first to be identified. She evaded capture even as the wanted posters went up. As whispers of her, th her grew throughout the land, more and more of her neighbors prayed in the night that Simone would be their salvation. That's a lot of pressure for one person. She was not alone, of course. She was but one part in a growing organism. But she became a symbol. It is difficult to think of many things, so sometimes having a symbol for all of them is important. Like All Might in My Hero Academia! Huh! <laughs> like numbers. We do not know where Simone is buried. Aw, oh, god damn it. I knew this wasn't going to be happy. You do know that when things boiled over, she led a charge against the palace gates, and behind those gates were cannons. Oh no. Many years later, when the mass graves were exhumed, her bones were mixed with so many others, it was said that she now lives on in the bones of all in her country. Geez, that got dark and sad. And spooky. <laughs> that is history. It's both of them for today. Neato. Wow, that was pretty great. Come by again. Couple days. We shall hunt the stars. <laughs> Ooh, let's take a look. We got Sterling and Simone. Wowzers. We like that. Let's get a pretzel for our children. You can't catch me. I'm too good at this. I'm so good at it. I'm big thief. This is unfairly easy now. <laughs> One pretzel is enough. Bye, loser. The guards show up like the ones from the N64 Zelda game. Let's go upstairs, go visit our mom. Oh, we didn't visit mom at home, did we? We should probably visit mom at home and see how that goes. We kind of just ran out of the house. She says different things depending on what we say to her. Let's see if we visit mom at home. Mom! She's still here? She's not here! We didn't visit mom at home! Let's go visit mom up at church, I guess. And see what happens. We forgot to say good morning to our mom. We're a bad daughter. How could we do that? Oh, she doesn't look very happy today. Hey, mom. Can't talk today. Lots to do. Really? What could possibly be going on? 
Well, sweetie, we have the town council here today, and after that, a 12-step program meeting in the basement. Oh, wow. And I'm doing both church budget and our budget at the same time. I'll leave you alone then. <laughs> Thanks, hon. Mom looks tired. Go see Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Seen a fire through the trees last night. Past these woods here. Weird noises. I just kept to myself. And they went away. That sounds spooky. Been around a lot of places. Ain't spooked by much. But out past that water tower. Yeah, that's a place where teens hang out. Let's hope that's all it was. In my experience, strange fire and strange voices ain't never been good. Wonder if they'll be back. Hope not. Okay, now we're gonna go do an activity for our day. Probably some crimes with Greg, because we love crimes. Go see Lori M. And feed our rat babies. We got a lot of stuff to do. We're very popular. Hey kid, what you up to? Hey adult, nothing. Sounds good. I was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you wanna come? Sorry if that sounds boring. You don't have to go. It's okay. Uh, geez, let me answer before you decide I said no. Okay, did you wanna go? Sure. Oh good, yeah, it'll be fun. Let's rock. Wow, been a while since I've been here. My house is like three minutes from here. Got the longest night lights up from last year still. Haha, <laughs> someone on my street does that too. We got pumpkins last year and we left them out too long. And they like... Liquefied? Oh yeah, I remember that happened with one with ours one year. My mom was so mad at my dad. It was his job to get rid of him. He had to like... Mop it up. I've seen, like, a time-lapse video of when a corpse decays, and, like, everything liquefies. We're all goo deep down. Yeah. Okay, so, like, a cool thing to do is squish a metal thing on the tracks. I like that a lot. Cool. For our little metal dude, let's see what happens. Sounds good. I come out here at nighttime sometimes and fall asleep between the tracks. Why? I don't know. I feel excited and I can sleep. You ever have that? Were you so excited you go to sleep? I have stress dreams if I'm too keyed up. I don't remember my dreams. Sometimes I have stress dreams. My stress dreams usually involve like teeth falling out. It's pretty grody. Sometimes I fall asleep for like five minutes, but sometimes it's like an hour. That's some risky business there. Stretch. Okay, we can do that. Ooh. May I pop my back? 
kind of need that. I have weird thoughts. Like, sometimes I want to go to sleep in the woods. Or in the basement of an abandoned house during the day. And only come out at night. And be, like, a monster. And be, and, like, beautiful. I know the feeling. I want to eat people sometimes. It's very specific. Really? Pretty much as soon as I meet anyone, I wonder what they taste like. I feel like the world is full of bad people who would be good to eat. Mm hmm Just bring in your little leggies. That would be so scary. I would be so scared to do this. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see what we got. Whoa! <laughs> You'd redecorate your pants? They'd get a brand new dye job? Yay! Your little metal guy is all... Wow. He represents the human soul. This is important art. <laughs> well, I gotta get rolling. Okay, 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 okay. Let's roll. Yeah, I don't know if I could ever do that. I say that while thinking... I could probably do that. See ya. Lori M. Horror Movies and Trains. She's kind of cool, not gonna lie. She's like a really cool character. I really like her. Get out of here, bird! You don't get this pretzel. This pretzel's for rats only. Stupid pigeon. See, like... I say it, I could never do that, but, like, part of me is just, like, curious how that would be as an experience, so, like... Part of me is, like... I used to think I'd never like roller coasters, but now I like them. Because I sucked it up and said, okay, I'm gonna get on this, and now I like roller coasters. So maybe one of these days I'll just lay down between two tracks and chill, and it'll be a great time. And maybe I'll be like, yes. All right, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. Ooh, there's four of them. Wow, there's so many of you. Someday you won't need me anymore, and you'll leave. Will I even recognize you on the street as we pass each other? I love you, miracle rats. We could go see Germ. Oh, this guy looks cool. Who are you? Hey, CJ? Yeah. You were, like, in high school when I was in middle school? Oh, uh-huh. Did I know you? You used to play nerd games with Tom Bramwell across the street from my house. Haha, <laughs> nerd games. That's quite a memory you got there. Do you live here anymore? Nah, just back visiting. For nerd games? They were like pen and paper role-playing stuff. Cool. But no, I'm just visiting family. Husband's driving down tomorrow. What do you do now? Lawyer. Oh, wow. Can I ask you some law stuff? Well, I'm not acting in a professional capacity, but yeah, sure. 
What's the best way to get out of jail? Well, it depends on the situation, you see. Like, would you dig through the wall or, like, attack a guard and take their pants and identity? Or, like, I don't know, just cause a riot or something? Huh. What's the best prison gang? Like, if you had to pick. You know, we don't really learn this kind of stuff in school. What is the point of, like, going to college if you don't learn useful shit? Laws are pretty useful. Useful my ass, CJ. Sorry, welcome back. Have a nice visit. Bye. Uh, see ya. May is really good at Im making good impressions on people. You went to college and you didn't even learn anything useful? Ugh. Hey, Jerm. Hey. Wanna hang out? I don't know, I'm supposed to hang with Greg or B tonight. Jeez, I'm not asking you to run away and get married. Yes. Okay, what do you want to do? Follow me. We're here. We're in the parking lot. Yep. We walked for like 15 seconds. It's like really big here. I could throw a rock and hit where we were just standing. You can see, like, all the sky here. Oh wow, you can. Look at this dead parking lot. Just look at it. Okay, so seriously, we're just looking at the parking lot? Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes in the morning, if you're up on the hill back there, a whole bunch of fog passes over the lots, and it's like an ocean. And there's a herd of deer that comes through. And it's like magic. Wow. Why did we ever need this much parking? Jobs. People used to work at the glass factory. And I guess some folks still work at the sewing place. There was some other factory somewhere back here at some point too. All gone now though. Dead town. Dead. Yep, just a lot of asphalt, weeds, and broken glass. It's so pretty, I love it. Hmm. You know, if they never do anything with this, in a bunch of years, this is going to be, like, a reg regular ground. Wow. Nature's old. It it waits you out. That's spooky. Okay, we're done. What? Let's go. Hey. So I've been having... I have to go now. Bye. Aw, oh, that's cool. That's cool. I love the little things in this game, like hanging out with Germ and Lori, where, like, they're completely optional. You could just never opt to do them, but, like, they're fun. And you get a little insight on, like, the town and, like, the people a little bit with that, too. Same with, like, the parents. You could opt to never talk to the parents at all, either. Like, this town is trying to develop, and there's parts of it that are developing. Like, there's the Snack Falcon, and the Ham Panther, and, like, there's a Donut Wolf. But, like, at the same time, it's just dying. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Whoa, what's up with you? I want to do something. Okay, wow. You drink, like, all the coffee? drink like all the coffee i can't have coffee it makes me anxious oh wow that sucks and it tastes gross not if it's mostly milk and sugar seems like a lot of hassle to make something gross taste okay oh good point so dude 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 you want to do something 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 uh yes oh woo! wounds Wounds. Look at these guys. Badass. Badass. I like their goggles for their bike ride they're taking. I 
like it. I like this whole scene. Like, this is classic. And, like, it looks so cool, and, like, the color palette's good. You remember seeing the kids after school who would, like, ride on the spokes of their friend's bike? No, it's like a kit. You can get it off the internet. Jeremy and me put it together. So it's a motorcycle now. No, it's like a motorized bike thing. It's different. Why don't you just get a dirt bike again? I'm an adult now. I ride a bike. So, like, where are we? Woods. Alright. Classic. Doom, 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 doom. Log bridge to Valhalla! Cross and die, mortal! Well, this log is gonna snap and we're gonna break our legs. And have to crawl back into town. Or die of, like, bears and cold. Remember when we used to knife fight? <laughs> yeah. You go home with, like, cuts all over our hands? So dumb. Well, I... What? I got knives right now, just saying. Of course he does. Greg's a knife guy. Holy well, shit, yeah, you're on. Your friend who always has a knife? Hey, you need to open something? Here, have a knife. I got a knife! They just have like seven knives. First to wuss out, three times loses. Come get cut, Gregor. Say goodbye to your fingers. Stab me once, shame on you. Stab me thrice, shame on... Yes. Okay, 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 okay. First one to wuss out three times. Yeah, I got it. Stop stalling. On guard. Get stabbed. One. Oh, no. Ah! Haha, <laughs> eat it. I'm rusty. Unlike you, I'm not street trash. May you're trash wherever you go. Oh ho ho, that's how it is. I'm gonna stab you repeatedly with this knife. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Ready, ready, ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Ugh. Jeez, you okay, dude? No. I'm not okay. We can stop. No again. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Ready, ready, ready. Knife fight! Knife fight! I'm stabby! Just trying to stab. Ow. Ugh. You okay? No pity, Greg. No pity. Okay, okay, okay. Ready, ready, ready. Ow. Okay, I might be done. That really hurt. Really? No. Let's go. One last time. Prepare to die. Okay, okay, okay. Ready, ready, ready. Here we go. I'm gonna win. We touch tips. Ow. I did it! I won the knife fight! The pointless knife fight! Yeah! We did it! Do you need me like, call your mommy? Yeah. 
tell her that her precious boy got stabbed in the woods. This was always how it was going to end for one of us. Okay, well, that's enough. Probably enough stabbing for today. All this blood going to attract predators. Good point. Wait, why did you have two knives? Huh, good question. Let's break this log. With the knives? No. This is probably gonna kill us. Nah, dude. Good point. Greg, you're not helping. Come on, jump better. Jeez. Yeah, you gotta have a n backup knife for your first knife. Yeah, man. I was thinking. Yeah? Like, if you see a rotting tree or a log or something in the woods, or, like, there's ice in a big rock, like, you have to kick the tree over or break the ice. Like, I can't not do that. Yeah. Hmm. Weird human thing. But, like, feel of... It's different now. Because I was here. Yeah, okay, yeah. That makes sense. These woods will never be the same, man. I changed them. We changed them. Butterfly effect. Dude, someone's gonna die or get born because we broke that log. Crap, man. Yeah. Just leave me on the ground. It's fine. Uh... I was gonna say, I'm surprised you still have that. Yeah, well, hunting wasn't my thing. But I mean, dude, like, what isn't fun about this thing? Did you ever go? Nah, my dad wasn't into it. Granddad was, but he definitely saw it as a guy thing. Hmm. I was pretty annoyed by that at the time. Really? Think you would've liked it? Probably, actually. Like, just buck hunting or something? Season starts day after tomorrow. Yeah. Well, anyway. Would have liked to have been asked at least. You wanna shoot this guy? So, like, what's going on here? The forest god. Like in the story. Yeah. Looks like he just stuck a bunch of targets and decoys together. You work. Bang, bang. With what you got. You wanna shoot it, dude? Um, yes. You should go stand in front, and I'll, like, shoot over your head. Dude. Okay, okay, fine. Give me it. Wow, this is heavier than I expected. Right? So make sure you pull back before you release the trigger. Then I just shoot what I wherever? Not at me. Alright. Headshot. I said in between the eyes, not in the eyes. That's so close. Close ain't good enough, partner. Bam. Bang, bang. Gonna get him. Right through the god dang skull. We're murdering. Close. <laughs> Just right in the face. There was this dude back in like the 40s. And he got shot in the head. And it went through, right through his brain. And he was fine somehow. That's awesome. That'd be cool, a cool scar. Bullseye! I'm out of bolts. It's cool. That was fun. I can take on, like, vampires now. You could, you could. Vampires of Possum Springs. Sounds like a bad bee movie. They're out there. Shiny teeth. Shiny as the night. 
Okay, enough shooting for one day. So... What the hell was that? Yeah, that's been happening lately. What has? Electrical stuff. Like me basically dying twice last night? No, I think that's on you. Hmm. So I don't want to be nosy, but you seem a little up and down today. Yeah, it's a thing. I mean, it's been a thing in general lately, but... Look at those birds. I'm... I'm a good person, right? Sure. I don't know. What's up, man? I try really hard. Angus, like, needs me? He needs a Greg. Badly. Is Angus in trouble or something? Nah, it's like... He hasn't be had the best life. His family is, like, pure trash. How so? Just, like, assholes. Really stupid assholes. I just don't ever want to lose him. Not ever. I don't know what I'd do. I don't want to screw this up. Are you two doing alright? What are you worried about doing? We've had some arguments lately. About what? Uh, stuff. Maybe I'm inconsiderate. Maybe I'm not good. You're good. But I'm just parking lot trash. I've known that all along. I've got, like, no future if it was just me. When I'm awake at night, I listen to Angus snore, and I stare at the ceiling. And I think about how I'm a complete piece of shit. And... And, and... Sad. Sad. Big sad. Greg. Greg. Calm down, dude. You're good. And Angus is good. Yeah. Angus is good. Nice, smart, hot, cool dude. Down to chill, etc. Greg, etc. And you know... He's got that ass. Oh my god, thank you for finally saying it. <laughs> He's got that ass. It's a fantastic ass, right? Fantastic. Okay, I'm not comfortable with you objectifying my boyfriend. Only his ass. And who could blame you? Love that. Forget what I was gonna say. I don't know. Probably worried about nothing. I have really up-up days and really down-down days. And I don't know which it is until it's over sometimes. I kind of coast through on general blah right now. <laughs> You good, buddy? What kind of birds are those? I have no idea. Hey, bird! Northern dumb fowl. Eastern skinny bird. Do they fly south? Do you want me to make something up? Yeah. Yes. That's good. That's real good. Look at those birds just wiggle. Aw, we had a good little adventure with Greg, and he's got some worries, and we're gonna help. Greg's happy, okay? Greg's sad, okay? Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. I was socializing. Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Any idea what was up with mom today? Oh, she's just stressed. That's vague. Haha, <laughs> well... 
I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you spend a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. <laughs> Ooh. Aw, oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. Oh no, you'll have that too. Hmm. Cheer up, kiddo. It's only life. Gee, thanks, Pop. Boxes. Yeah, okay, I'll move them. TV time? Yeah, for a little bit. He just wants to hang out. You mean I have to have vague and specific stress for the rest of my life? Ew. That doesn't sound very fun. And then there's Greg being all sad boy hours. Sad boy hours. Hey, Dad. We watch TV. I'm gonna go to bed now. Hey, B, you there? Yes, sir. What are you up to? Doing budget stuff for the shop and watching music videos from the 80s. Those are the exact things you'd be doing if you were like 20 years older than you are. Well, someone had to take over for my mom. I'm just being thorough. Well, you're doing a good job. Thanks. Gonna get back to work. Night night. Hey, kid. Hey, yo. Thanks for hanging earlier. No problem, dude. How's your knifed up hand? I'll live. Angus fixed me. Ah, good boyfriend. Yeah, he's a keeper. Sorry it was a bummer there at the end. It's fine, dude. Seriously. I just, yeah. Get some sleep, man. Will do. Night, bruh. Wait, we gotta click charcoal, don't we? We didn't click charcoal. Let's do it. Hey. Great. We did it. We did it. Bedtime? Yes. It is indeed bedtime. Ooh, fun. Okay. I'm gonna leave it here for today, and I will be back sometime probably next week maybe monday we'll see um with that being said i'm gonna get out of here so i can go do some stuff thanks for hanging out thanks for watching goodbye